Welcome back. This past Thursday night on Destination X, we saw amazing action from the Impact Wrestling in 1987. We're now in August. Um, our road to glory continues. This is episode number three. Um, you'll see Ring of Honor Wrestling tomorrow. We have got a brand new series coming to you live this coming Saturday night. Not only that, this Sunday night, you've got NWA Weekly with NWA Live. Coming up. Finally, we have a road agent and, and referees. And I'll be doing the NWA studios so that we can have a studio wrestling in the NWA studios in our home region, which seats 2,000 people, especially built for our studio show. So we can get out of Universal. But in a decent pre show match, Barry Horowitz and Bob Holly defeat Doc Dean and Brian Pillman in 753, and Bob Holly defeat Doc Dean by pin the flying leg drop. Brian Pillman 51, Doc Dean 28, Bob Holly 36, Barry Horowitz 53. Brian Pillman performance. I absolutely love our exhibition. It might be small, but I'm about to grow it a little bit more because I have a plan for the exhibition for two wrestlers to go into it. In a decent pre show match, Tony Davis, Conan, and Juice Funder Liger defeat Steve DeSolvoy, um, Yokozuna, Ultimate 186. When Juice Van Der Liger defeats Steve the Soul Boy by Van Der Liger Bomb. Van Der Liger 54, Conan 40, Danny Davis 36, Ultimori 48, Yokozuna 34, Steve the Soul Boy 34. Danny Davis performance and Conan are flying a 47D, not bad. In the pre good wrestling, good heat and decent wrestling. The Supernatural Force defeat the Rockers in 829, and Mankind defeat Mighty Ginetti by Pin for the Pole Driver. Uh, Mighty Ginetti 52, Shawn Michaels 44. The Undertaker 47, Mankind 56, The Undertaker on Fonts 56 C minus. Certain wrestlers are going on tour with All Japan Pro Wrestling. And we open up the night with Tony Shawnee who goes, The aftermath of Destination X hits Impact tonight. But, look, but looking here, a new chapter begins. And join me now, the new Impact champion, Big John Studd. What's on your mind? Look, this is what I wanted. And I proved I deserve this title. I stopped the drugs and made myself a better man. I came here to impact to rise to the top. To rise to the top. This is where I belong for so long. I am the man that is carrying this whole company on his shoulder. And I'm not going to lay down. I'm going to be top dog for a long time yet. And I'm going to say this once. I am impact champion. And this is my time to shine. Well there you go. 63C from Big John Sutter. Sort of beautiful promo there. By him coming out and opening up the night. We're going to open up the night with the Steiners. In a decent match, the Steiner Brothers defeated the Simone Swap team in 8.29 when Scott Steiner defeated Rikishi by putting the Steiner device. Rick Steiner 54, Scott Steiner 57, Rikishi 43, Samu 45, Rick Steiner improved in forms, 56, C minus. A beautiful match there. And after the match, they go to the announce table um, with where Tony and Ronnie stands all night, a bit like I think he does on NWA Heat. Tony, hold that mic. You saw what we can, we can do in that ring this past week at Destination X. We failed to deliver and win the Impact Tag Titles. And Rick goes, the fans might be upset, but we hit ourselves. We promise the fans will be here with the tag team gold tonight. Supernatural Force is not over. We're still coming after what you hold. Me and my brother will be tag team champions. So 49D+. Plus. In an extremely short match, Eddie Guerrero and Blue Panther defeat Chris Benoit and Flash Funk in 5 or 6 in the next division match. When Eddie Guerrero defeated Chris Benoit by from the Frog Splash. Bill Panther 54, Eddie Guerrero 50. Flash Funk 32, Benoit 56, Flash Funk in performance. Next week, right here on Impact Wrestling, you'll get to see the Exhibition Championship defended. Um, that's if the computer wants to play ball with me. There we go. As Chris Benoit will defend that bout against Eddie Guerrero. And that is going to be live here next week on Impact Wrestling. 55C minus for that, not bad. And yeah, Tony, welcome back. The Exhibition has caused, crashed, caused some waves in the wrestling business. With me now, a man who lost lost the ult, um, to the Ultimate Warrior at Destination X, Sting. Sting goes, look, Tony, I'm not happy. I lost, but he's won. But he's only won. He made it so personal. I'm not going to sit back and watch him take over the company. I'm here for the fans every single week. But Sting is here. I'm working with Impact to be the best I've had it with Warrior. And I'm going to destroy him in four weeks. A hard justice live. I'm going to destroy him in a 30-minute Iron Man match. So we're going to have, at Hard Justice, my friends, we're going to have a 30-minute Iron Man match. That is going to be against Sting and the Ultimate Warrior. I'm trying to work out what this little monster's doing I've got on the bed. So, yeah, so Sting will take on the Ultimate Warrior. Um, and anyone who's interested, it is a hamster and it's not a rat. <laughs> Running about loose. You know, that's not really an issue because they make quite nice pets as well. Um, yeah, so 30-minute Iron Man match. Um, we're going to save that up now. 
there you go. That's the first match for Des um, Destination X Hard Justice. And then, of course, we've got Lock we've got Halo Scream coming up. Because why not? That's our Halloween show. 58C minus. Not bad at all. In an extreme short match, Owen Hart defeated LA Park in 1432 by submission with a sharpshooter. Owen Hart 56, LA Park 44. Nowhere for his 56C minus. That tickles Tinkerbell. With me now, the format, and with this, he gets pushed. So, to, after you, before he gets finished his sentence, Tony Strong gets pushed out of the way, and there's Arn and Louis take the stage. And Louis is really peed. He's like, Look here, Impact Wrestling. You're take, we are taking this show hostage next week if you don't grant my man Arn Anthony's rematch. I don't care about your no rematch rematches clause. It's because of you idiots putting him in a match with Big John Studd, he lost the bout. All of you can shut up. This is his company, and Studd, no matter what. No matter what, that title will be back around Arn's waist very soon. So next week, if he's not granted these rematch, then two are going to hold the show up. So we'll have to see what happens next week. In an exceptional match, Bret Hart defeated Austin Idol on 5.56 by submission of the sharpshooter. Uh, Bret Hart 71, um, Austin Idol 67, Bret Hart in Rumble, 74B-. minus. And your main event tonight is the World Impact World Heavyweight Championship match as Zoe Zabisco will face Big John Studd. This is our main event of the night. In an exceptional match, Big John Studd defeated Larry Zabisco in 20.03 by pinfall. Big John Studd makes defense number one if he's Impact World Heavyweight Championship title. Larry Zabisco 72, Big John Studd 81. No work for it, 71C+. Um, after the match, of course, Arn Anderson runs out and attacks. Big John Studd being into the map. Trying to clarify his match. 66C+. Not bad. And then in the po exceptional post-show match, Iron Anson and Truly Banter defeat Sergeant Slaughter and Barry Windham in 1509. When Truly Banter defeat Barry Windham by kind of a slingshot suplex. Barry Windham 72, Sergeant Slaughter 65, Truly Banter 75, Iron Anson 73. Truly improving technical. That's where we end tonight's TV show. Another good event at 69C. Increase our popularity across the entire of the South East. That's what we wanted. And we were from the centre stage, um, the loft in the centre stage, 513, 30 people. Not bad. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next week for another edition of Impact Wrestling. Is Arn Anson and Trudy Bunch going to Arn Anson and Lurian Banner going to hold up the show? And will Eddie Guerrero win the Exhibition Championship with Chris Benoit? Join us all for next week. In addition of Impact Wrestling is live, we're not no hamsters, we've got no misses making a load of racket. This is Impact Wrestling. Welcome. Um, 562 people at the centre stage in the loft. It holds 600 of, 650. I've checked. I'm watching Ring of Honor The Experience because I haven't watched that yet because I've really just literally because I've been watching New Japan Pro Wrestling in stages because their show gets a bit long but it was a really good show. Really enjoyed it. And of course, if you don't know which one that is, you have to think about it. In the pre-show battle ahead, um, in the Pearl pre show match, Doc Dean defeated Bob Holly in 753 by Pimple. Uh, Doc Dean 28, Bob Holly 35. Uh, Bob Holly in performance, 34 E+. In a push about great rate and good wrestling, the Rock and Roll Express defeat the Rockers in 12 12. But Ricky Morton defeats Shawn Michaels by putting the missile drop kick. Uh, Robert Gibson 65, Ricky Morton 62, Marty Jannetty 47, but Shawn Michaels 46. No occurrence 63 C. In a decent push match, Conan defeat Alderman Orion 744 by Pinnacle by using and tactics. During the match, we also had Sting running and attack Conan. Conan makes to answer number three of his Impact National Championship. Not how that match was meant to go at all. I don't know why. That happened, but this was a this is a prelude to next week on TV. Conan, I will admit this now. Conan will be losing his title next week, as many of you will know, because I want to give the ultimate title, the ultimate, the national title. Um, I want to throw it into the Sting and um, I want to throw it into the Ultimate Warrior and Sting storyline, and that is what we're going to be doing next week. I have, I have got a new a few new things. Um. We'll just do it as a standard. So next week, it's on Impact Wrestling. It's going to be a triple threat match. It's Conan, um, the Stinger, and the Ultimate Warrior will be going after that national title next week right here on Impact Wrestling. That's going to be happening. I guess 42 day Ultimate Warrior in performance, 48D+. Plus, not bad. In a picture of Sub Pyro and Little Heat, Blue Demon Jr. defeated Liz Mark in 1248 by pinfall for the Ace Crusher. Liz Mark 41, uh, Blue Demon Jr. 27, no occurrence. These two will now be hired. They were here on a one-night deal because neither of them are actually in America. And I wanted both of them on the roster. So I kind of hired them as a one-night only deal sort of thing. Oh, I had a bloody flu jab this morning. My arm is killing. 316 minus. 
So we have not the show, and Tony goes, welcome to Impact Wrestling, but before he can continue, he gets, the stage gets invaded by Luro and Banner, I know to them Banner and Bigelow, and he's like, shut up Tony, this show is on hold, we have heard nothing from Impact Board, so tonight's show is cancelled, me, Arn and Bam Bam are here, and nobody will get to see the show, because it's not happening. <clears throat> My name is Paul Heyman, and I represent the TV network, and I've spoken with them and the board, the verdict is you're not going to get your rematch. Calm down. Look, you have got Big John stood at hard just if you beat him in a non-title match, you get a rematch at Howl O Scream. And Louis goes, fine, you got a deal. Come on, boy. Boys, let's go. Also, we're not wrestling tonight, Paul, because my man needs to get ready. So we're now in September, as many of you know how the TV shows work. And we've now got another match added to the Hard Justice show. Iron Anson has a non-title match against Big John Stud. If he beats Big John Studd, he gets the rematch for that title at How Low Scream. And obviously, we're gonna, we've are gonna we got to think how is Bam Bam Bigelow and Lou Obama going to play into this. 61C, a beautiful way to open up the night. In addition, we have Sting defeat Yokozuna 636 by Pimple. Uh, Yokozuna 35, Sting 51. No work for 49D+. Plus. And ultimately, while he comes out to stage, he's like, This is stupid, Sting. You think you're going to last 30 minutes against me? You think that that was the best idea? A 30 minute iron match. You're an idiot, and you know you you know your GF don't, your girlfriend don't care. Your family, nobody cares. They want to see me. How your girlfriend said she wanted to go out with me instead. Well, this thing hits the set and starts brawling with him because obviously he just jumps out the ring and straight over there. So I brawling with him, and starts whacking him with the with the you know the swivel chairs, the office chairs, what you want to call them. He then picks up the mic and starts whacking him in the head with it. The mic with him in the head with the mic. Blood, you know, blood comes trickling down. His head security come out and pull him off. And we see Tony pick up his spare mic off the floor. And Tony's like, I think we need to move me backstage instead of ringside, Jesse and Jim. Up next, the exhibition championship is on the line. You know, he's had a few issues being there. So he's like, yeah, but I guess a 54C minus, not bad. I don't know why Sting wasn't on screen. He was meant to be, but I'm going to deal with that now. In the match, Chris Benoit defeat Eddie Guerrero in 827 by submission. Chris Benoit makes the match number one of his Impact Exhibition title. Eddie Guerrero 46, Benoit 57, no work rooms, 58 C minus. In about a good heat and decent wrestling, the Steiner brothers drew with a supernatural force in 534 following a double count out. Uh, Rick Steiner 52, Scott Steiner 49, Undertaker 49, Mankind 56, no work rooms, 57 C minus. Tony, hold the mic. We are pissed off with how they're fighting and getting us double DQ'd. No way about it. There's no way about it. In three weeks, Hard Justice, like the name says, I'm going to make it Hard Justice. Rick, and Rick goes, you see what we were saying is this is going to be a last man standing tag team match for your world tag teams. My name is Paul Heyman, and I represent the TV network. So as you've just get, got you, you just got yourselves counted out here tonight. You can have your last man standing match against the Simone Swap team. If you beat them, then you can have a match that's never aired before at How Low Screen. So. Hard Justice, my friends, is going to be the last man standing match. But the Steiners ain't got. The Steiner Bros ain't going to get the tag team they want. They are going to be facing the Samoan SWAT team in that match. If they can beat the Samoan SWAT team, then they're going to have an extra special match live at Hollow Scream at the end at the end of October. Well, the question is, what will that match be? I'll find out on the third impact after if they win their match. Now. Supernatural Force, you're going to have a Hell in a Cell match where the ring is covered in a cell and you'll be facing Rock and Roll Express. This is you to stop you two, and he points to Scott and Rick, from interfering in that match. So I don't know if I can book it yet. I'm going to have to do some meditations. But we are going to be having our first ever Hell in a Cell match at this pay-per-view. Um, this, this, this is what I think the Impact are doing. They've kind of got this idea for a match. But because they're not sure how that match is going to go, they're just going to kind of trial it in the, in a non-linear way. And the idea is it's going to stop those guys from interfering. Of course, you all know what Howland Sale is. So, yay. 52D+. plus, Beautiful. In an exceptional match, Truly Banjo defeat Barry Windham in 602 by Pim of the Slingshot Suplex. Barry Windham, 70. Truly Banjo, 74. No work uh, Barry Windham, Barry Windham, 76. B-. minus. Your main event tonight is Bret Hart. Did he, did he, did he? Taking on Big John Studd. There ain't a Big John Studd, so it's Hulk Hogan. But this is 1987's wrestling. It was major. 
In an exceptional match, Big John Studd defeated Bret Hart in 1948 by pinfall. He made defense number two of his Impact World Heavyweight title Championship title. Bret Hart's 75, Big John Studd 81, a 72 B minus. After the match, Big John Studd told him his victory in the ring with Bama Bigelow, Arn Anson, and Lou Ambala running attack, beating Studd in. Beating Studd up, Scooter come out and split him up. Then your post show match of the night is an exceptional post show match. Larry Tabisco defeated Sidon Slaughter in 1448 by pinfall. Larry Tabisco 70, Slaughter 68. That's where we end tonight's show. Increase our pot with 71C, plus increase our problems in one region. We'll see you guys next week as we continue the road to hard justice. Welcome back to Impact Wrestling. We've got an interesting pre show tonight, but then we've also got an interesting main card. And we ain't got really any big names on the main card except for one match. Or not even the main event. In a pre show, Belva, good wrestling and decent match of crowd. Eddie Guerrero defeated Barry Horwitz in 47 by Pins of Frog Splash. Barry Horwitz 56, Eddie Guerrero 53. Uh, no real cruise. These two have great chemistry, even though one's a heel, they're both heels. 55 C minus. That's what you can get when you do a heel versus heel. In a decent match, Reed and Adisa pre match early part defeat Juice from the Liger in 1520 by Boom the Sky Twist Press. Juice from the Liger 53, Ali Park 44, no occurrence 52D. We open up the match in a bout where I had sub pro wrestling and all heat list. Michael Blue Demon Jr., who have signed permanent contracts, defeat Scorpio Jr. and Shaw Al Guerrero in 647. Blue Demon Jr. defeat Scorpio Jr. by the Age Crusher. Uh, Liz Mark debuted Legend Awful, second round Legendary. Um, Blue Demon Jr. 27, Liz Mark 38. Shaw Guerrero 33, Scorpio Jr. 28. This one can take no Blue Demon Jr. performance. So this is an X Division um, tag team um, CML slash, well it's EML until 1993. So EML match, um, tag team match. So it's showcasing their talent in a tag team match tonight because we're working with them so we need to. Tony, what a great way to start Impact with an EML showcase match. Joining me now, the Impact World Heavyweight Champion Big John Studd. Stud, how do you feel about the match in two weeks and the face and the fact you've been attacked after your match for the last two weeks? And the big guys, last week, last week's attack means I'm not clear to rest tonight and I feel bad that his fans deserve to see their Impact Champion in action. You see, all they're doing is picking, is picking, is poking the gri this grizzly bear and making it angry. I'll make sure that Arn will not get his rematch at Hollow Spring. I know they're going to have things up their sleeve, but I'm going to win no matter what. And Tony goes, really strong words here tonight. The main event will be a triple threat match. Sting versus the Warrior versus Conan for the Impact National Championship. First, a lot more action. There ain't many angles tonight. In an exceptional match, Larry Zabisco defeated Austin Idol in 825 by a pinfall. Larry Zabisco 70, Austin Idol 64. No opponents, only 4B minus. <coughs> in a decent match, the Rockers defeated the Nasty Boys in 732 when Marty Jannetty defeated Brian Knobs by the Rocker Shock. Uh, Brian Ops 39, Sags 39, Mighty Genetic 50, Michaels 46. Sags in performance, 50D+. Plus. Um, the music video is trained to promote the supernatural force. In about their good wrestling and decent... Um, in about their good heat and decent wrestling, Samoa SWAT team defeats and the supernatural force defeat Rock and Roll Express and Steiner Brothers. In 731, Rikishi defeats Scott Steiner by becoming the Big Splash. Uh, Rick Steiner 53, Scott Steiner 55, Robert Gibson 62. Rick and Morton 58, Undertaker 48, Mankind 59, Rikishi 41, Samu 45, Undertaker and Performance 60C, not bad. A uh, video play, plays to hype up the main event of the night is Sting vs. Moai vs. Conan. As I said, there's not many angles on tonight's show. In a decent match, the Ultimate Warrior defeats Sting and Conan in 1452 when the Ultimate Warrior defeats Conan both in the Big Splash. Ultimate Warrior wins the Impact National Championship title. Uh, Sting 54, Ultimate Wave 44, Conan 44, Sting in Technal, not bad at 53 C minus. We do have a post show match. In an exceptional post show match, Barry Windham defeats Bret Hart in 1442 by from the Flying Lariat. Bret Hart's only three, Barry Windham's only one, no appearance, 57 C minus. That's where we end tonight's show. A nice quick one for you guys. 57 C minus, increased our popularity in one region. I well, thank you all for joining in. Join us next week as it is the go-home before Hard Justice. Welcome back. It's the go-home edition of Impact Wrestling, and we are live. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. The go-home edition of Impact Wrestling is live and uncensored, and we're ready to rock and roll. As we are only a few nights away. Well, it's Tuesday night. This is taped on a Wednesday. Here's live on a Thursday. But this coming Tuesday night is Hard Justice, and I will be be along with joining you for the ride as I've got to book it. But in the future, I had decent wrestling with number cheat. 
Blue Panther Bob Holly and Eddie Guerrero defeat Flash Funk, Doc Dean, and Brian Pillman. In 1550, when Blue Panther defeat Doc, Doc Dean by Pimple. Blue P Brian Pillman 49, Doc Dean 34, Flash Funk 37, Eddie Guerrero 51, Bob Holly 36, and Blue Panther 51. Eddie and Rumble and Flying at 48D. Plus. In a decent pre match, Owen Hart defeated Yokozuna in 1522 by Pimple Surprise Roll Up. Uh, Yokozuna 32, Owen Hart 58, no work permits. 51D plus. In a decent pre match, Stephen Regal defeated Juice Wonder Liger in 1439 by Pimple. Stephen Regal 42, Liger 54. Uh, Liger in performance 54C minus. Welcome to Impact Wrestling. Tonight we've got some action, but this coming Tuesday night is hard justice, and there's so much happening on that night. Now, the Hell in a Cell is a new match type, and it's going to be Supernatural Force for the Rock and Express. With me now, Paul Bearer and the Supernatural Force. Oh dear! You're in total. You're in trouble! Because with this steel okay, it still sells around the ringside area and ring. My boys are going to kill the Rock and Roll Express inside the Hell in a Cell. Oh yes! Now, Steiners, you want to try and get your rematch. If you beat our good friends the Samoan SWAT team, you get your match with us, that's fine. But remember this match is new. It's a new one, it never aired before. Even we don't know what it is, Steiners. And we all come out of the champions because Hell in a Cell was made by my boys. And my boys, oh yes. See you all Tuesday. <laughs> oh yes. 51D plus. And Tony goes, well, I'm scared. Let's send it to the ring for X Division action. 51D plus. In a decent match, Barry Horwitz, Scorpio Jr. and Shaw Guerrero defeat Chris Benoit, Liz Mark, Blue Diamond Jr. In 540, when Barry Horwitz defeat Blue Demon Jr. by pinfall, the Horwitz roll-up. Blue Demon Jr. 29, Liz Mark 42, uh, Benoit 56, Shaw Guerrero 37, Scorpio Jr. 29, Barry Horwitz 53. No reference. This coming week at Hard Justice, the X Division Championship will be on the line. Because it's my ritual to make sure as many titles are on the line as possible. But there is a difference to it. Um, so yes, Chris Benoit will be defending against Barry Horwitz. That's going to be happening live at um, Hard Justice, 15.9D. In a decent match, Ultimate Warrior defeat Conan in 720 by Pimble Big Flash. Ultimate Warrior makes defense number one of his Impact National Championship title. Conan 43, Ultimate Warrior 50, no reference 50D+. Plus. Well, well, yeah, what a great win. Sting, look at this. I got a title in less time than you did. Oh, wait, you did not win one, did you? Let's make this. Are you ready? He says what's well, something to do. Anyway, 850 people have packed out when we were only expecting 750. The King Sports Civic Auditorium tonight for Impact Wrestling. This is Impact Wrestling Hard Justice. Welcome along. I hope you guys are ready for a roller coaster ride of a night. In a decent pre show match, Juice from the Liger defeats Stephen Regal by in 9.52 by from the Liger Bomb. Stephen Regal 43, Liger 54, no work for 53 C minus. In a pre-show, Adi Smith from MMG, Flash Funk, D Doc Dean, and Brian Pillman defeat Bob Holly, Eddie Guerrero, and Shaw Al Guerrero in 14:39. And Brian Pillman defeats Shaw Al Guerrero by pin for the leaping frosting lariat. Brian Pillman 49, Doc Dean 32, Flash Funk 34, Shaw Al Guerrero 50, 37, Eddie Guerrero 57, and Bob Holly 34. Uh, Bob Holly and Technol, 46D. Nice little X Division pre show match. In a decent pre show match, Steve Dissolve and Goku Zuna defeat Conan and LLA Park in 1320 when Steel Dissolvo defeat Conan by the running clothesline. LA Park, 44, Conan, 44, Yoko Zuna, 36, Steve Dissolvo, 34, Steve Dissolvo improving in points, 41D. In a decent pre show match, Owen Hart defeated Gypsy Joe in 1305 by submission of the sharpshooter. Gypsy Joe 38, uh, Owen Hart 56, Gypsy Joe improving in forms, even though he's 50 years old at the moment, according to the game. So, nice to see him improve, but he's only here on one night and he do. I'm not going to be hiring him anymore. I'm watching Ring of Honor the Experience at the moment, and Matt Taven's just been attacked by his, one of his own, Vinny Mascaris, with his fucking axe. And everyone says Ring of Honor is shit. <laughs> anyway, I'm a new... If anyone's interested, I watch New Japan Impact, Ring of Honor... NWA, AEW, and the case and WWE. They're the main companies I do watch, and sometimes I delve into other companies like DDT. I do watch it. We do enjoy watching an occasional DDT show, and I do like Stardom every now and then. 53 C minus. So we got an open angle of 59 C. Anyway, tonight the battle lines for Hallow Scream are being drawn, and not everything in life is easy. 
and sometimes it's hard to play the game, and sometimes you just got to take and give the hard justice. And now live on STNC, this is Impact Wrestling. This is Impact Wrestling Hard Justice. We cut to the arena, we're showing the fans waving various signs, and we see a steel shell surrounding the ring, and then we cut to Jesse and Jim, and Jim's like, Welcome to Impact Re Impact. Welcome Impact fans. This is Hard Justice, and we're out of the way. And we're out of the way that steel cage down there. Also, three matches tonight make the card the Hell of Scream a lot more interesting. And just goes well said. Whoever wins the Steiners versus the most SWAT team get a shot. Whoever wins the champion, whoever are the champions after our opening match here tonight. Also, if Arn can beat Big John Studd, he gets a rematch in four weeks. They send it down to Tony with the first in-ring conduct in in-ring introductions. We deny C our opening contest. In a Belvad Fantasy Heat and Great Wrestling. The supernatural force defeated the Rock and Roll Express in 1443 when The Undertaker defeated Ricky Morton by pinfall of Tombstone. The supernatural force made defense number seven of their Impact World Tag Team titles. Mankind took a crazy bump off the top of the cell during this match. He also sustained a damaged crutch and ligament because of that. Paul Bear did some good work at ringside. The color commentary gave the match a boost. Robert Gibson 66, Ricky Morton 62, Undertaker 49, Mankind 60. As I've said before, I don't Mankind Informs and Unsafe Informs, which is good. I very rarely use the Crazy Bump system in a game, but I wanted to for this match because I felt like this is a match where you're going to use it, and I, it is going to start turning up in a lot more of the series occasionally. Not use all, you know, like some, res, you know, especially WWE do, but, you know, use it every now and then. Like, for now, this is the first ever match. You know, it, the idea of the Crazy Bump is, yeah, okay, we've told them to do it, but... The question is, was it meant to happen or not? Because according to, Man according to Mick Foley now, the fall off the state still how and sell was scripted and meant to happen. I don't know if that's true or not. But yeah, I, I, if no one, I haven't even mentioned about the backdrop for this just because of the how and sell. <laughs> that is going to be going back to the original backdrop after this. It's only been brought in for this. Yep, thank you, Dutch Savage. In an exceptional match, Bam Bam Bigelow defeats Simon Slaughter in 15-20 by Pim with a powerbomb. After Luro and Bano interfered, Sarge Slaughter 68, Bama Bigelow 68, no opponents, only 4 B minus. In about their great wrestling and a decent match crowd, Chris Benoit defeated Barry Horwitz in 15 19 by Vim the Dragon Suplex. Chris Benoit makes events number two of his Impact X Division <laughs> title. Barry Horwitz 54, Chris Benoit 50, 56, no work on Fimps. This is what I love about, you know, booking wrestling shows. Is everything's so different. The 62C. Lovely little match. In a bad, great heat and decent wrestling. Larry Zabisco defeated Danny Davis in 11:28 by submission of the Larry Land Dreamer. Uh, Danny Davis, 34. Larry Zabisco, 66. Danny Davis and Pumps, 60C. Another good match. In a bad, superb wrestling and great good heat. Ted DiBiase defeated Masahiro Chono in 14:43 by from the Hot Shot. This was your New Japan versus All Japan for a wrestling. With Teddy Biossi representing All Japan Pro Wrestling and Masahiro Chono representing New Japan. Teddy Biossi 82, Chono 56, 76 B minus. Beautiful. In above that, decent wrestling match, Al Snow, Blue Panther, and Scorpio Jr. defeated Liz Mark, Rory Brookside, and Blue Demon Jr. 946 when Scorpio Jr. defeated Blue Demon Jr. by from the Powerbomb. Uh, Blue Demon Jr. 29, Rory Brookside 41, Liz Mark 45, Scorpio Jr. 32, Blue Panther 57, Al Snow 38. Is Mark and Techno, 48D+. Plus. Nice little cooldown match. In a decent match, the Rockers defeated the Nasty Boys in 11.06 when Mighty Janae defeated Jerry Sags by from the Rocket Shop. Uh, Mighty Janae, 53. Michaels, 48. Brian Nobbs, 40. Jerry Sags, 37. No work bonus, 51D+. Plus. In above their good heat and decent wrestling, Sting defeated the Ultimate Warrior in 30 minutes by three falls to two. Sting wins the Impact National Championship. Ultimate Warrior, 46. Sting, 55. The Ultimate Warrior and Rumble and Sting Informers are vis visibly tiring towards the end of Ultimate Warrior. That's fine. These two have good chemistry, which lifted the match. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that, with three falls to two. So, they were drawed, and then I'm thinking within the last, like, minute, he got his final fall, and Sting wins the National Championship. 56 C-, minus, beautiful. Absolutely fucking beautiful. In a decent match, the Steiner Boys defeated Simone Swat team in the last man standing match in 15-03, when Rikishi was eliminated first, then Scott Steiner and Fally Samu. Rick Steiner 56, Scott Steiner 54, Rikishi 44, Samu 47. No work rooms. And if you want to find out what the stipulation is for the match at Hello Screen, you'll have to join us tomorrow night 
because Paul Heyman will be announcing it at the opening of Impact Wrestling 55C minus in the, in the next episode. In an exceptional match, Austin Idol feed feed Truly Blanchard in 12:35 by pinfall. Truly Blanchard 74, Austin Idol 69. No work for 76 B minus. In an exceptional match, Barry Windham to beat Bret Hart in 15:16 by pinfall the suplex. Barry Windham 17, Bret Hart 76. No work for 77 B. And then in the next match, Arn Anderson defeated Big John Studdard by pinfall after Louis Dan Ballo interfered. And also during the match, we should have had Big Bam Bam Bigelow come out and attack Big John Studd as well. Arn Anderson 74, Big John Studd 81, Arn Anderson in performance. You've now got your main event for Hallow's Scream is set. We will hear from tomorrow night. We'll also hear from Big John Studd after the brutal um, attacks during that match from both the interference from the manager and from Bam Bam Bigelow. We'll hear from Arn. Big John Studd tomorrow night on Impact. I I know where I'm going with this now. Um, yeah. I'm just going to call this H O S for How Low Scream. There you go. Beautiful. 78B. That's where we end tonight's show. I think that show was an amazing show for Impact. I think we did really well. Uh, no. Would you like to continue? No. Okay, I want to do my post match. 76B minus increased our problem. Not as good as the original show, but I think because one of our matches was longer than the others, it kind of got took over. But we'll give it to everybody. I'm also going to give it to Bret Hart. I have got a storyline for Bret Hart coming up, so that's coming up for him. That's going to be big. But I want to thank you all for watching this episode, episode number three. We'll see you in episode number four as we head to Howl O Scream. Thanks for watching, guys.